All right, so we're out here. Sunday morning, me and Sauce have uh, arrived at work. It's a bit rainy, so we started a bit later. Plus, don't want to wake the neighbors up and stuff. But what I'm doing this morning is setting up a pier. So I've got a 470 by 470 rendered pier that I'm doing. First thing I do, I know this is pretty controversial with brickies, and they say, you know, 470 render pier, just use your level. But what I like to do is set up, it takes me two minutes, four brackets, four, four arms, whatever you like to call it. I put them straight up, obviously one on each uh, each of the sides going um, alternative ways. And then the first thing, when I'm laying down my bond, is how to make sure, this is how I make sure that uh, we're running square. So I lay my first course, down. So we got a four seventy. Bring that over. Make sure that we're not touching the uh, the timber. Two bricks by two bricks. Run a level. Down. Now, how do we know it's square to the house? That's what I do. Get out of the tape. We already know that this is uh, square off the frame because we come 150, 150. Alright. So, come in close. Measure off this wall here. Come in close. What do we have there? 1400. Alright. Check the other side. This one, see this one, it's only 1395. Bring this one out, 1400. We've got the same there. Now it's just a matter of checking the other way. 470. Check it back. We've got 470 there. All right, then we just use the, the level, square them off. So that's how I do mine. And what I'll do, what I'll do is after I've built up a couple of bricks, a couple of courses, I'll probably do like four, three or four courses. I'll just set a couple of profiles up. I just find it's easier that way. We know everything's running square. So um, I'll set a couple of profiles, perp clamp them in, just gauge up, and then we've got our square, our square pier ready to go. So I'll do that now. I'll lay a couple more courses. second or third course down um, get the profile in and then it's just a matter of putting a profile on either edge right, and making it right plumb clamp it to your brackets now I know that might take a bit just probably five minutes or so with the help of the source so you do it by yourself you know I know a lot of you say you can do it in might take you ten minutes to sort of set up and by that time you could already have it three quarters of the way up or half the way up but um, if you're setting up up here for say an apprentice or something like that 
or one of your workers to make sure you don't have to put the your level on every course and have any drums that sort of way. It just takes about five ten minutes set up and we're ready to go. So now it's the process of getting the gauge stick. There it is. Gauge stick and pencil. I'm just running the gauge up. I've already leveled the top off. So I'll just put this on here. Process of marking it up. And the pencil sharp. And you can put a line on if you want. We'll probably put a line on just for the sake of it. You may as well do the whole setup. But otherwise, you can just lay the your, your profile. Your profile gauge all the way around. So now it's set up, we're nice and square. That's how I do mine anyway. Um, got a BT arms, BT um, perp lamps, and we're using these long sided doughs, the ones I always use on the side. So it's just a matter of pushing your brick up hard up against. You know, I don't get paid anything for BT to do to say this, but they do have the best tools. So they got really good setup, making sure everything's square and it's nice and easy. It's just laying to the profiles now. So that's the setup, guys. Me and Sauce are going to get some bricks in.